Pennywise is one of the most horrific characters ever developed. Originally reached in Stephen King's book The It in 1986, Pennywise is a demonic dancing clown. It was later adapted into a television film series in 1990, where Pennywise was played by the horrific Tim Curry, known for his roles like Legend, Rock and Horror Show, and of course, Home Alone 2. Between then and 2017, where they released yet another film based off of the Stephen King It movie, there have been a number of high-end collectibles representing Pennywise, the dancing clown. And I know what you're thinking. The only thing scarier than bringing this creature to life is what is up with Mr. X's professional review. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Mr. X. This is the Extreme Channel. We have another Extreme Collectible, and if you followed the channel for a while, you know that this is Pennywise from Stephen King's It Movies, more specifically the 2017 adaptation film. And I've been highly anticipating this because he was supposed to be released in August 2019. That's right, check your calendars. It is now September 2020. So he was released a little bit late. Now that I have him, I'm ecstatic. I'm very happy with the product. A little bit of a spoiler of the upcoming review. So as I said in the intro, this is Pennywise from Stephen King's It. It was a book written back in the 80s, and it was kind of a cultural icon. First of all, he did a lot of cool things. One is he created a scary clown, which not like killer clowns from outer space scary, but actual scary. And I think a lot of people will agree with me, horror books are a little bit more scary than horror films. However, in my opinion, especially in the newest releases, the 2017 film, they did a good job just capturing the horror and scary aspect of Pennywise. And that's what's really cool about this statue is it collects a lot of different scenes and kind of puts them together. And we'll talk about that in concept. However, before we do, we're doing a statue giveaway. Check it out. We are going to hit 20,000 subscribers in 2020. To do that, we're giving away a statue every 2,500 subs. At 15,000 subs, the winner will get to choose between these two PCS Mortal Kombat statues. Make sure that you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, and you've hit that bell notification. Then stay tuned towards the end of this video to find out how to enter. Now, I've always been a fan of Pennywise. I did it backward. I originally saw the 1990 film adaptation, and then I ended up reading the book. And then, of course, when the new films came out in 2017 and 2019, I definitely wanted to jump on board with them. While I thought the films were okay, I thought the representation of Pennywise by the new actor was fantastic. It, very scary, very crazy. I like a lot of the different things they did with him, which tie into what a lot of this concept is that Tweeter had made in this one-fifth scale statue. So let's check it out. Now I'm going to show you two different pictures here because there's actually a number of switch out parts because this is the exclusive edition. They made both an exclusive and a regular edition. And the exclusive has a few more ties to the movie. Now on this concept, I'm actually displaying the exclusive edition. Tweeter had made two different versions. One is an exclusive, one is a regular. The exclusive has a number of switch out parts, but we'll look at both in design. But for concept, we'll tie that in. What I love about this is it demonstrates so many different parts of the movie. So first of all, if you're a true movie purist, you are not going to like this statue because it shows Pennywise in a number of different scenes all put together. First of all, he's squatting on this coffin. And this is the squat pose that we saw in the house where he jumped up on the boys. A number of the scenes are from the house in this. But uh, first thing you have with the exclusive here, you see the werewolf hand. So this is exclusively a werewolf hand. I didn't know it was a werewolf hand until I read Tweeterhead's description. When he's coming towards the kids in the house, you actually see him You actually see him transform with the werewolf hand right before they're about to beat him for the first time in the house. On the left leg, you see a tentacle. I don't remember that from the film, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Or otherwise, they were just see using some creative aspect. But he's in that crouching position that we just looked at. And of course, they have the Pennywise balloon. Kind of the evil, sneering, happy expression. I love it. It's a, an expression that's mixed between both the evil and the happy and a clown at the same time, almost like he's trying to lure them like he was in this scene. And that's what makes Pennywise so cool is he's just a creepy looking clown. There's a classic balloon of his catchphrase, you'll float too. The one thing I love about this concept is it really captures everything about Pennywise. There's definitely some things in here like with the paint that I question a little bit, we'll talk about, but the concept is awesome. And some other Easter eggs I actually have with the exclusive here. Check out the inside top of the coffin lid right here. You have a newspaper article of Richie missing. Obviously, Richie was part of the pack that fought him, so this is another way that 
Pennywise is kind of tormenting him that he's going to go missing and that they actually have found written in blood, presumably by Pennywise. And Pennywise actually created also in the coffin, and you can really display it anywhere, but a doll of Richie, which is very hilarious and fantastic. Again, it's more the concepts from the movie of just this really incredibly scary demonic creature that uh, can do anything to really play with your fears, which is what Pennywise gets off on. That's what gives him his power, like a lot of different creatures you see. So I love what they did with the concept. It's fantastic. I give the concept a five out of five because I'm not a movie purist, and I love that they took different parts of the scene. They made Pennywise, who's already a very interesting creature, even more interesting. Well done by Tweeterhead on the concept. However, the design, there's definitely some things that I question. Some are things that they just chose to do, and I think some may be a few mistakes. But before we dive into those, let's look at the unboxing and assembly of this piece. Very small shipper box, as you can see here. The art box was actually pretty cool. I like the fact that it had a lot of designs, not only on the front and back, but there were also some other designs uh, regarding Pennywise. It came with a little red envelope and a compartment on the top. So inside the red envelope was actually a drawing and a signed uh, COA from Andy Muschietti, which is kind of neat. The compartment on the top had the top of Richie's coffin. Then it was one layer on the inside. Everything was wrapped up really well. Here's an idea where everything's placed. And assembly, as you can imagine, was pretty easy. So you saw me put together the switch outs. Now I wanna clarify a little bit. The balloon comes with both versions. So the left hand here, you have a switch out whether you get the collectors or the exclusive. Here he is not holding anything. And then here he is holding the balloon and his gloves quite a bit dirtier. And I don't know if that's intentional or not. Here's his right hand. Now this is the collector's version only, resting on the coffin. And then what they call the werewolf hand is the exclusive version. Here's his left collector's leg, normal leg. And then the tentacle leg. And I don't know what kind of creature this is, but it looks like a squid of some type. And I don't remember this part from the movie. If you do, please throw it in the comments below. 
Let's also get the dimensions on him. Now he is a one-fifth scale statue, meaning they've uh, scaled him down five times smaller than he'd be in normal life. The width is about 10 inches. The absolute deepest part of the coffin is about six. The tentacle and the uh, hand make it stick out a little bit more. That's in inches. With the balloon, he's right over 15 and a half, almost 15 and three quarters. Without the balloon, he's right under 12 inches. Hey, that's what she said. Now, I'm going to be putting him with my horror collectibles kind of right behind me. If you're interested in seeing that, go ahead and check out the Extreme Channel Facebook page. Go ahead and make sure you not only follow that, but like it. The uh, link is in the description below. Now, a few of the design things I question. I love the Easter egg of Richie in the coffin here, but uh, he's in the coffin. This is not a toy that you display, so there's no point to actually put him in the coffin. And I know some of you are thinking, Mr. X, well, you can display him outside the coffin standing up. Well, that's kind of weird to me because he's just a doll. But also with that, the cool part of the newspaper and the found on the bottom of the coffin, you will never see. There's no way to display that. So to me, it almost seems like an Easter egg waste. Another thing I don't like is right here, the balloon is actually touching his face. I think that's definitely an issue. I don't know why it's so close to his head. Uh, it could have paint smears over time. And another thing that is just my preference, this is one-fifth scale. It is rare and rare you have one-fifth scale pieces. Now, a lot of that is depending on licensing. So Tweeterhead gets the sign-off from whoever owns the Pennywise, the rights to Pennywise, and they only allow them to make it in certain sizes. I wish it was one-fourth scale. The majority of horror pieces are one-fourth or one-third scale. I, uh, I think that is just kind of disappointing because he's going to look tiny next to some of the other people. And do you remember the high school locker room? It was kind of like that sometimes. Lastly on the design thing I question, the uh, lid right here just sits on here. Um, there was no key or uh, magnet or anything like that. Not a big deal, but uh, something they could have done differently. And then also we're gonna look at it with paint, but you see right here the design, his costume is gray. I don't remember it being gray in the movie. It was mostly a really dirty white, so I don't know if they were specifically going with gray or they think this is dirty white, but we'll look at that closer in paint. So I love the different switch outs. I love the Easter eggs, uh, even though you can't see them, which is kind of a, a pro and a con. Um, I question a lot of the stuff they did. Design-wise, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 just because there's so much questionable stuff that went on here. Now we'll dive into paint and sculpt, and this is my first piece from Tweeterhead. I do have a few more on order. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'll leave it at that. I think there's definitely some other op some opportunity they missed, so it's not amazing, but I think they did some nice stuff. Starting with the coffin down here, there's parts of the coffin that look um, real, they look like wood, and then part of it that not so much. And it's more on the top, not so much, but on the base right here, you see kind of that ingrained wood. I think they did a nice job with the paint. Um, the black inlay on the wood, kind of the grain running with it, it looks nice. Uh, it's fully sculpted, everything's fully sculpted. You have the different knobs uh, with some worn tarnish on there. I like that they're not too new. Uh, it would look weird with the statue. And then you have this gold rivet. It's kind of this other type of gold, kind of all over this inor de this ornate design all over the coffin. It looks good. It's a nice looking coffin overall. Pennywise himself, looking at this exclusive version, the werewolf hand is very accurate to the movie. I like how it's kind of come out of his glove. Uh, long bony fingers, fingernails, looks neat. The tentacle looks fantastic in my opinion. I love how it's slimy, uh, assuming it's kind of a moist effect and then the suction parts on the bottom. They did a very nice job on that. I actually like that a lot. Pennywise, his shoe, his one shoe you can see right here because we have it displayed, looks fantastic. The little ball on the bottom looks like it's actually mixed media, looks like it's fabric, it's not. It's fully sculpted. Um, throughout his costume right here, a lot of different stuff going on. So like, first of all, let's address the gray color. I think that's a mix. I think that's a miss. If they were trying to do a dirty uh, or muddled white, it was a complete miss. I, I don't remember that in the movie, and I could be completely wrong, but I would have much preferred a more of a dirtied white throughout. Like, and that's what you see on most of the statues by like Elite Creature Collectibles or Prime One Studios. You have a few or you have a few designs on here, kind of some uh, around his belt or his shoulder right here. Uh, some almost looks like beads, which you also saw around his shoe. Um, they look good. I love the fact it's fully sculpted. I love the fact there's no fabric going on here. Look at his hand right here holding the balloon. It is really dirty. It's got yellow piss all over it. And I don't know what's going on behind that. Uh, his other hand didn't seem as dirty. So I don't know if this is a quality control issue or if it's meant to be like this. It's kind of hard to tell on the photos that they post on their website. 
His collar looks awesome, this ruffled whatever. This is the kind of dirty white that I would like to see in the rest of the costume. Um, don't get me wrong, the gray doesn't look bad. It's just I don't think it's 100% movie accurate, which again, I'm not a purist, so it doesn't really kill me. Here's a picture of his hair. They did a nice job on his sculpted hair. Uh, it's flowing well. The strand differentiation is decent. There's some black in with that red. And even right here at the top of his head where the individual hairs go into his head, they did a nice job on the detail of that sculpt and the paint. And then looking at his portrait, I love this portrait. I think they did a very nice job. Has the cracked makeup, the very evil sinister smile. I think the paint's very clean. Uh, the little drool effect on his lip is nice. The yellowed buck teeth are, are, are just scary as hell. Overall, a really nice portrait. And one of the things I really like about the portrait is I'm actually getting Prime One Studios three half-scale Pennywise heads, which it just got moved to be shipped to next month, but they're actually going to go right around this guy, so I think that will be awesome. Because uh, here's kind of the evil, normal portrait than all those other ones. So the paint and sculpt, honestly, I give them a lot of props. I think they did a really nice job. Let's start with the sculpt. I think the sculpt is a four out of five on this piece. Um, it's almost even a little bit better than that. I think they could have used a little bit more detail in the suit to make it better. Paint, honestly, like I said, I don't approve of the color they chose, but the paint job itself is done very well. Like I said, very clean. I think uh, hopefully this is the way it's supposed to be on this hand. That's really my big issue. But I still give the paint a four out of five. I'm very impressed by this piece. I like it a lot. I think they did a nice job. I really wish that it was in a one-fourth scale. But the nice thing about being one-fifth scale is the value. So let's talk about that. This is the exclusive edition. They made 353, I think it was, and it retailed for $350. Uh, nowadays for a statue, that's not bad, especially with all the switch outs and different things going on here. I think the value is great. The collector's edition, which doesn't have the werewolf hand, the tentacle, um, and I believe it doesn't have Richie inside. I think the retail price was the same on that, and I don't know the edition size on that. Sideshow didn't have it on their website. So I bought this directly from Tweeterhead with Tweeterhead to get the exclusive versions. That's traditionally what you have to do so you don't get the points or anything. But value I think is great. I think it's a four out of five on the value of this. Low edition size for the exclusive, $353, $350. And like I said, it's a pretty cool piece. So overall, does this have the X factor? X factor is not a cumulative score. It's just, does this kind of take your breath away when you walk in? Do you like it a lot? I have a lot of ties to Pennywise and this does not disappoint. I have a Pennywise bust. I've actually done a review on it right here. You can check it out. I like this a lot better. It'll be interesting to see how much I like the Prime One Studios heads. I think this is an above average collectible. It's not an X, it's not a five out of five, but I think it's a four out of five. Very impressed by uh, Tweeter head. I was a little worried with some of the delays and horrible communication they have, but uh, end product, I'm very happy with it. Very nice job. Of all the different Pennywise options out there, you got Prime One Studios, you got Custom, you got Elite Creature Collectibles, Tweeter head. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. If you have any or if you would buy any or which ones just look scary or badass. And I ask you to comment because it'll help you in that statue giveaway. To win one of these Mortal Kombat statues, all you have to do is comment on a video. At 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video and pick a random comment. That person will win the prize. They can choose between these two pieces. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Check out this playlist with some of these other statue reviews. Also, if you have not hit the subscribe button, half of you hadn't, hit that Mr. X logo with the bell notification so you can see when cool stuff like this drops. Really appreciate it. Talk to you tomorrow. Take care.